Welcome. Today is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today we are called to love God first and then our neighbor as ourself. The celebrant of this Mass is Father Jim Hickey. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Christy Sasha Kanai, Paul J. Healy, Matthew J. Lacasse, William and Sandra Tracy, Frank and Marie Hunter. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. His cornerstone is solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease. My my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless pain, his gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he gave to save. Till on the cross as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied, for every sin on him was laid, here in the death of Christ I live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Thank you. It's all about love, my dears, my friends, my fellow Christians, and all of you seeking God. I think the gospel for today, as Liz pronounced its basic points, makes more sense than anything to everyone. I hope to be able to talk about it. Let's pause for a moment. Let's ask ourselves, could we be more given to Christ? Master, you came to save us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have mercy. mercy. Your love is greater than the universe. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. And yet you call us to love you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Good Father, have mercy on everyone associated with this moment of worship. Set us free from any sin that may be on our souls and bring us into life everlasting with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's sing the Gloria. Father, have mercy 
Christ knows that you seek his love, that you are watching this on TV or worshiping here because you want to find him at the center of your life. So let's take a moment. Let's pray. Almighty God, ever-living God, increase our faith, our hope, and our charity. Make us love what you command us to do so that we may merit what you promise us to have. In the name of Jesus, we pray, who because he reigns with you is our priest, our Lord and our God, one with you in the Spirit's gracious love, O eternal God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's hear the word. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If you ever wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. 
For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Bless you. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Thank you. And I proclaim to you the eternal gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Oh Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Per evangelica dicta, deliantur nostra delicta. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, turn your face, your gracious face toward us. Fill us with your mercy that we may hear and understand and obey the word. To God be glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'm indebted, as I have been in the past over the years, to Erasmo uh, Leva Merikakis, who is a monk of Spencer here in Massachusetts and is now working in Rome in the Vatican. He's a married man with a family. His wife died, and he joined the Cistercians of Strict Observance. He's a wonderful commentator on the Gospel of Matthew. Just for somebody who might be listening, there's three volumes to his work. I gave away the first volume and has not returned in the last three years. If you have it, please give it back to me, okay? That having been said, it's important that we catch this whole scene. It sounds like the uh, fellow who is talking to Jesus is flattering him. He is, but he's really being contemptuous. Teacher, he says, 
because he's testing Jesus. When I was in school, the teacher did the testing, huh? not the student. So he's being arrogant. He wants to pull Christ down. There's a very important insight, and this is from Miricacus, that I could miss completely. I said to somebody recently, I'm always learning, and I really am learning in this. You would expect, if he said to you, what is the greatest commandment? You would say, well, the greatest commandment is and give it. But Jesus doesn't do that if you notice it. It's fun to do this with the scriptures. Teacher, which is the commandment in the law that is the greatest? Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And you've heard that probably hundreds of times. It's interesting, though. In Deuteronomy, which Jesus is quoting, you would expect something that I found out is not there. In Deuteronomy, God is offering the Shema, which every Jew prays in morning and evening. Hear, O Israel, so it's to Israel. The Lord your God is the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God, etc. But when it says you, it's singular. It's not plural. So memory caucus says that what's going on instantly is that Jesus doesn't answer as if this were in a classroom. What is the answer to the question? Uh-uh. He looks his tester in the eye. As only he can do, the divine physician, the healer of souls, the word of God. He says, you shall love the Lord your God. Not all you guys, not you all. So I say to you, I say to myself, the word is directed directly to me and to you. He quotes the text in such a way that it becomes a personal address to the heart and soul and mind of the man who attempts to pull him down. This is typical of Jesus. He wishes the salvation of this man. Personally, he speaks to him. And he's saying to me and to you, the overwhelming love of God speaks to your heart, to your soul, and to your mind. And the ultimate joy is this, to give yourself as a total gift to God. That's it. It's essential. It's central. In this case, three nouns are used. Heart, the seat of your passion, where your feelings come from. The heart is the anchor to the world. It's our flesh. It's about being human. In the mind, ah, the mind. The intelligence, the capacity to take in insight and to make decisions about truth. But as I did with you last week, the soul, right? The immortal soul the inner dimension that will exist for you and me after we die. The dimension of us that calls us to eternity. God is claiming our whole being as a lover. It is a call to conversion. Don't let this mass go by. Stay with me. This wholehearted desire to adore God, right? To give God everything I am. To be happy in obedience to God's will is the source of all happiness and joy in human existence. It will be our happiness in heaven. And the people we most honor have most done this. 
but it must come from our interior being, our heart, our mind, our strength. Let me bring you to an issue about love. Do you remember after Peter denies Jesus? Then in chapter 21, the last chapter in John's gospel, they are in the Sea of Galilee, and Jesus speaks to Peter. Remember? He instantly knows because it is in the second person singular. He's not asking, do you all love me? He doesn't ask that. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Ah, do you love me? Do you love me, Simon? Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And a second time, and then a third time. And Peter is hurt. Do you love me? That's the question. That's the gracious question. Now, I'd like to pull something together here for you. The great uh, author and doctor of the Western Church about love is Bernard Clairvaux. He lived a thousand years ago. His feast is on the 20th of August. And in the breviary, the book of prayer that the church uses, there is this text. There are two things I want to do with this. Bernard writes, of all the movements, sensations, and feelings of the soul, love is the only one in which the creature can respond to the Creator and make some sort of similar response, however unequal it might be. So you and I have the capacity to do what God does. Remember we've talked about that? We're made in His image and likeness. For when God loves, all He desires is to be loved in return. The sole purpose of God's love is to be loved in the knowledge that those who love him are made happy, are made happy by their love for him. Now this is important and it's a feminist issue in a sense. Both in the Eastern Church but in the West, the word for soul is feminine. Now you don't get that in English. In Latin it's anima, anime. In Greek, it's suke, from which we get psychology. And in both cases, it's feminine. Bernard writes, It is true that the tre creature loves less because she is less. But if she loves with her whole being, nothing is lacking because everything is given. That's like that thing about money. If you're very rich, you give something. If you're very poor, you give the best you can. The person who gives the littlest is given the greatest. <laughs> Everyone can do this. And it is the basis, by the way, of determining religious life for women, nuns and sisters, as a marriage between the soul and Christ. So that there's a dimension here of saying to everyone listening to me at this moment, you are called. You are called to love. And don't you think that you lack something. What you give, God wants. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that marvelous? Now, if we were reading Luke, the emphasis in the reading would be on the neighbor. You remember the story. The guy asks at the end of it, well, who's my neighbor? And Jesus tells the famous parable of the Good Samaritan. I have people in the room nodding. You understand. So then in Matthew, if I could put it this way, it's certainly the same issue that we see in 1 John. But the main emphasis is on loving God. But hear this one. 1 John chapter 4. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. 
This is the commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must love his brother. So that throws out racism. I don't know if you've seen it. I want to get into it in a moment. But there's a magazine that the pilot put out for the 50th anniversary of Cardinal Sean O'Malley's ordination as priest. And there's an essay in there. There's some fine essays about his life in the West Indies. And that he and the local rabbi, I didn't even know there were rabbis in the West Indies, huh? Were key people in the community. There were three towns on the island. And the issue of labor relations came up, and those two guys solved it together. And this is a nice step. When Sean was leaving the West Indies, that rabbi gave him the mezuzah. The mezuzah was a little container. It's on the doorpost of every Jewish house. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. When the Orthodox Jew says his prayers, he has a little container on his forehead which contains the Shema Israel. How could we be anti-Semitic? How could we ever be? How could we go so astray so often? You shall love your neighbor. You shall love your neighbor. The guys that are doing the TV show here will show you a picture now of Cardinal Sean O'Malley on the front page of that, on the front cover of that magazine. And as you look at it, it's a wonderful picture, isn't it? Sean is elevating the Blessed Sacrament, the Holy Eucharist, the host at the, at the Mass. Look at his eyes. There's a man who loves. Let me tell you something. I need people that I can watch and see that love. I need encouragement to love. Don't you? Don't you need to hear that God is first, never second, and that your neighbor should be loved the way you love yourself? And we need to be encouraged to do that. I love Sean O'Malley. I'll tell you a funny thing. Nobody kisses bishops' rings anymore except me. Ha! Whenever I see him, he's in a crowd, everybody's shaking hands, you know. I walk up and I say, Cardinal Sean, grab his hand before he can do anything. Big, mmm, smack a little, right? He smiles. And I'm saying something. I'm acting out my thoughts. You're a good priest. You're a great bishop. You ain't perfect, but boy, you're close. We need to love, and we need to find people who love. And we're elected, by the way, you and me. You know that old black spiritual? God is love. And he who abides in love, abides in God, and God in him. She who loves, abides in God, and God in her. We who love, we abide in God as a community. As the beloved community. Hold on to your faith, Catholics. If you can't get to Mass, get to Mass. If you can or you can't, be devout. Put God first. Morning prayer, evening prayer, prayer at lunch, prayer at supper, prayer at breakfast, prayer when the engines or the fire department or the police go by. You shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul all your mind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Per Evangelica Dicta, by the preaching of the Gospel, Delian Tor Nostra Delicta, may all our sins and all our fakery go away. Would you stand? Do you reject the enemy? 
who wants to send you to hell. Satan and all his lies and empty promises? I do. I do, I do too. Do you believe in God the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do, I do too. Do you believe in Jesus? Jesus. The eternal word who took flesh of Mary by the power of the Spirit, who died on the tree and rose from the dead and reigns as Lord, do you believe in Christ? I do. Me too. Do you believe the Holy Spirit is in charge? He hovers over all the universe. He makes us church. He gives us union with the saints. He gives us Christ's forgiveness if we repent. He will give us eternal life if we hang on to Christ. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I do. I do too. Then as church, let us turn in the Spirit by the power of Christ's priesthood and address the Father with our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, bless and protect Cardinal Sean O'Malley as he celebrates 50 years as a priest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, make us love you with our whole being and our neighbor as ourselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we pray that through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary, we may always reject racism in all its forms. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, bless our nation and its political process, that we may be one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all. Bless our police officers, firefighters, and emergency responders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, protect especially the unborn, the elderly, those facing terror, disease, or disaster. Protect our military wherever they serve, and send your healing love on all who are ill, all confined to their homes or nursing homes, particularly those ill with the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, heal those whose names are in our book of prayer intentions, and especially Joseph Lamb, Elaine Meehan, Patrick Cambio, Bob Coughlin, Nick Pearson, Robin Vittoria, Bill Horsch, John de Grenier, Fran Hastings, Richard Cotswell, Mason Giovi, Michael Higgins, Violet Fraser, Scott Smaller. Lift their spirits, heal them, and give them peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Father, Christ is the salvation of all who die in him. Grant eternal rest to Harry Jones, Frederick Connell, and Christy Sasha Kenai, Paul J. Healy, Matthew J. Lacasse, William and Sandra Tracy, Frank and Marie Hunter, all for whom this Mass is being offered, and the souls of those who have died from the coronavirus, as well as all our military who have died serving our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Come, let's turn to the woman who has us in her heart because she's the mother of the God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are so good to us. Praise to your Lord and God. Thank you. Glory and honor and praise and thanks. To you be the glory and the praise. Thank you. Praise you. Glory to you. Hosanna and glory. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, I adore you and praise you. Come and fill my heart with your life. Hold me close, Lord. Hold me tight. And come, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Master. Hallelujah. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all my sins. Queer, peccata sum, because I am a sinner. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Master. Remember what we said in the past, kids. Act like you're in church. Please rise and pray that your sacrifice and mine be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord Almighty, look, we pray upon the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Ha <laughs> ha. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through who Christ our Lord. For raised up high upon his cross, Jesus Christ gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open, the loving heart of our Savior, we might all draw water joyfully from that spring of salvation. Therefore, O oh God, with all your angels and saints, we worship as we sing. Indeed, holy, O Lord, font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us, your children, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed by his own friend and entered willingly into his passion and his savage death. He took bread and giving you thanks, 
he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Abba, our Father, in a similar way, when the supper was ended, our Master, your Son Jesus, took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Oh, brothers and sisters, the mystery of faith. the great mystery with the words blessed be God forever let's try it blessed, blessed be, be God, God forever therefore O father as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his victory his resurrection we offer you Lord our God the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence to minister to you and we cry out Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit, and we cry, Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Remember, Lord God, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, of love, together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop, and all your clergy and your religious, with them we cry, Blessed be God forever. Remember your servants, Christy Sasha Kanhai, Paul J. Healy, Matthew J. Lacasse, William and Sandra Tracy, Frank and Marie Hunter. You have called them from this world to yourself. Grant that they who in holy baptism were united with the death of Jesus may now be with him in his victory, his resurrection, and we cry, Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Remember as well our other brothers and sisters, holy God, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and everybody who died in your mercy. Father, welcome them into the light of your face, we cry, Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Father, have mercy on us all, we pray with the Blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Bernard of Clairvaux, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may, we pray, merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life, that we may praise you, O God, and worship you, and honor you, and glorify you, and love you forever through Christ our Lord. And we cry, Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of your Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom of power and the glory are yours, now and forever. O oh, oh Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The lovely peace of Christ be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Well, thank you. Let's share it. Peace, peace Father. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ himself. He takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called to this, the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sanguinis Christi, in Ibrahim.
Jesus, you've, you've done such great work in our lives. And in the middle of all this trouble and worry and fear and sickness and death, Lord, we love you. The song just said, wherever love is truly present, that's where God is. Jesus, the love of God has been poured into our hearts by your Holy Spirit, so says Paul. Come into our hearts, into our souls, into our minds, right now. Especially for those unable to receive you sacramentally, dear Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. You're knocking. We open the door of our souls. Of our hearts. Come in, Jesus. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Take possession of our lives, Jesus. Where you are present, all is well, no matter what's going on. Give us your grace. Give us your kindness. Jesus, the psalm today used the word refuge. Refuge. We can go to you. You come to us. In you we have refuge. Nothing's going to knock us down. Thank you. God, our Father, may the working of your divine power increase in us. May your mercy increase in us, we pray, that renewed by this heavenly sacrament, we may be prepared by thus this amazing gift to receive the gift that they promise, the mysteries of our promise, Life with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As you may know, Rockland is now in a red zone as regards the pandemic. It has affected everyone. It's affected the school, high school. So we shall postpone having a 4 o'clock mass, which was supposed to begin on next Saturday, the 31st, until we are out of the red zone. We'll talk that all through and explain it to you. Um, Father O.D. continues to offer a plethora of services and ministries. Bulletins are available here in church at the 10 o'clock Mass, along with faith booklets and the pilot. I want to remind you that if you want to come to this Mass, you need to call up or come online on holyfamilyrockland.org on Monday afternoon, 5 o'clock and after. If you can't go online, use the phone number 781-871-1244. I want to thank Keith Davis, Bob Kirby, and Chris and Ryan Benica for the wonderful work they do to put this on TV and on cable, or rather on cable and also on YouTube. Bob and Heather, thank you for the music. Liz, thanks for reading. It is critical that I keep being a pain in the neck. Your financial support regularly has been essential for our health financially. It's been a long seven months now. You could lose heart. Please don't. 
drop your, your offering off at the rectory or mail it or send it in to us online. And thank you for your reliable generosity. The uh, mini course that we were going to offer on the Eucharist because of the red zone situation has been postponed for now. But the collection for St. Vincent de Paul's Thanksgiving food collection for the weekend of November 7th and 8th is still on. We need non-perishable items like cereal, pasta, tuna fish, peanut butter, jelly, canned fruit, vegetables, and soup. And the St. Vincent de Paul van will be outside the church on those two days, the 7th and 8th of November. So even if you're not coming to church, please bring your gift. It's important, isn't it, huh? This is a tough time for a lot of people, and it's going to get tougher. Thank you for a wonderful Mass. Let's ask God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Life is not. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.